Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech. A little bit of news today. Obviously, uh, you're seeing this get dropped in the morning. They didn't get my cable installed today. That's one story. And then there's this whole change of address thing I did today. And that one was ironic. I actually got a kick out of it. So I'm going to tell you about that. And I did do my taxes. And, well, let's just get to the intro right now. And we'll talk later. So I had like one of them days where some things go wrong and some things just make you laugh. And uh, of course, uh, I'll give you the news on the tax return. Uh, it, it's gone through. Let's just say, let's just start with that. So I will be getting the Mi A3 and the DJI Osmo by the end of the month. Still have leftover uh, money to pay some debts. And... Uh, so we will have some pieces, parts in here to unbox and review. Obviously, tomorrow, the Elector uh, D12s will be here. Hopefully, by then, cable will have gotten everything fixed. So the morning starts out. The cable guy calls. Right on time. Arrives on time. I slept on the couch, so just in case I fell back asleep after the call, I would hear him knock on the door. I, you know. I didn't even sleep in bed in the back, just in case. Got a good nine hours of sleep. I was good to go. I explained, you know, where I wanted the uh, uh, cable hooked up at and that I had my own modem. And he's like, no problem. Looks good. This shouldn't take long at all. He wanders off. And, you know, then I wait. And I wait. And I wait. And he finally comes back in. Now, I I live on one of these little cul-de-sacs. A little tiny neighborhood. Everyone looks out for everyone. Everyone knows everyone. Uh, if you get some strange noises, you, like the other night there were some noises, somebody making noise out in the street. So we all, you know, I walked out to my garage. I opened the garage door. And I look around and there's like four other uh, people standing in their garage doors, just, you know, looking, going, what the hell's going on out here? So everybody's aware. It's a quiet neighborhood. So this guy finally comes back, and it turns out on the on my side of the cul-de-sac, and just over from that, there's a big field. They haven't developed it all yet. There's the start of a housing development down on that street, but it hasn't come around the corner yet. And he's like, well, I'm not going to be able to put your cable in because some jackwad decided to bush hog back there. And their cable line runs along the ground. God knows, well, probably because it has to. It's a long way out to the main street. And it's marked. It's very clearly marked. And yeah. it cut the whole damn thing. So that means everyone on my side of the street is not getting cable of any kind, internet, Wi-Fi, yeah, the whole smear. Now, all these homes were built with dish network dishes on them. Most of the people are either running a dish network or they've gone through AT&T or some other route. Uh, they were supposed to get back to me today or tomorrow. They didn't get back to me today, so hopefully they will. Today, which is tomorrow. And of course, by then, I hope to have cable. Uh, by the time I go home. And uh, that way I'll be able to do the unboxing, review, initial impressions, the whole schmear tomorrow night and upload it. Wouldn't that be cool? So that my second other problem was the fact I needed to change my address just to make sure stuff got in. The mailbox, just, you know, we all have little box keys it's just down the street. And uh, I've already given people the new address. But you got to change it officially with the post office just to make sure everything gets where it's going. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, 
And uh, so I had gone online using the Postal Service's instructions on how to change your address online. Turns out you need a bank account or a, not a bank account, but a Visa card, MasterCard, a credit card with a billing address on it so you can prove who you are. So I walk in the post office this morning and I offended the girl. I guess these postal workers take their job too seriously. I said, well, that's about useless, your instructions here. Because it wasn't until the end of the procedure it told you this. I was like, yeah. She goes, oh, no, it's very good, sir. It works just, I was like, it didn't work for me. And therefore, it sucks. So can I just get a regular hand filled out one? And she's like, yep. And I was like, so why do they need the credit card? She said, well, that way it proves that you are you. I'm like, oh, okay. Super. And on that note, I fill it out. I get back in line. And she sees me standing there. And she says, oh, you can just bring that up here. Okay. She never asked for an ID. She never asked me to prove I was me. I could have been, you know, Bob the terrorist guy. It wouldn't have mattered. Or just, you know, some guy playing a joke on me. Never asked me. And I was like, you know what? It's the Postal Service. The fact that she's going to take care of it. I'm good with that. But the irony was, yeah, you need the credit card to prove you're you if you're online. But if you're there in person, you must be you, right? Wrong. They're supposed to ask you for an ID. That's all. So that's all I got tonight. Kind of short. I, I got a kick out of that. Everyone I told went, well, that's damn silly. And I was like, yeah, that's damn silly. So this is post up in the morning about 8 a.m. And I've left out all the ads. I just wanted to get right to the point. We are going to get those two shiny new items to test the Mi A3 and the super duper uh, gimbal. And uh, of course, I made out a wish list already, so I've already got a case picked out. And a little short tripod. It's cheaper to get the regular one and the cheap tripod off Amazon. All will be linked in the description during those videos. For right now, the only thing, the only links I have are for the Mi A2, Mi A3, the Redmi Note 8, which is if Kentucky comes in really quick with their return, it's also been accepted, then I'll get the Red Mi Note 8 and we'll compare the two. Uh, but I'm a little more excited about the Mi A2. See how quickly it goes over to uh, Android 10 and check the differences between it and the, you know, the, or the Mi A3. I keep calling it the Mi A2, I think. The Mi A3 and the Mi A2. We'll compare them. Obviously, the biggest difference is the 40,000 and 30 amp hour milliamp hour battery versus the 3,000 on here, which you can suck the battery down pretty quick when you have it running like I do right now. Screen brightness wide open. And, uh, you know, not turning off, no adaptive brightness, all that. On the Mi A3, You've got an AMOLED display, a little more efficient, and it's only 720 display. And we'll compare the two displays side by side, and then we'll also compare the fact that one will easily last all day, the other, that's why I put the wireless charging on here, so that I can just throw it on a charger at work, no matter what. Because sometimes I'll shoot a couple of videos on cars at work, and poof, we're done. You know, we're down to like 52% already. And then when I get home, I'm like, well, I was going to shoot another video, so I got to sit there and wait for it to charge up. Uh, now, of course, I can unplug the tag and use uh, a fast charger on it. 
and it'll charge up considerably faster. But usually when I get home, I don't want to go through that hassle. But that's all I have for today. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them in the description below. Give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Like the video. Share the video. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. And right now I'm about to be vaporized.